Hi everyone and welcome back to our geometry tutorial. So far in this tutorial we've discussed the centers of triangle, the circumcenter, the incent the incenter, and the orthocenter. And th there is still something that we haven't discussed yet, uh, and that is the circles of the triangle. So basically we know that we have the circumcircle is the circle that passes through the three uh, the three vertices of our triangle A, B, C and we have also the in-center that touches the three sides of our triangle A, B, A, C and B, C internally and there are also other circles like the X-centers and other stuff as well okay so I decided in this video we're going to discuss one of the basic properties of the tangents of circles because in lots of problems that we're going to solve later, uh, we will be asked to show that, for example, this line is tangent to the circumcircle of the triangle ABC. And other types of problems similar to this. So we need to have a basic, or to know the basic properties of the tangents of circles. Okay, so let's take a look here at our diagram. So as you can see here, we have a triangle ABC. And... Uh, the circumcenter is O and the circle uh, or the circumcircle we've drawn the circumcircle and here we have a tangent line to our circumcircle at the point A and we've just chosen some arbitrary points at this tangent line and that is D so basically we know that DA is the tangent at A to the circumcircle of triangle ABC by, and by definition actually the tangent line, the definition of the tangent, is simple. It is just a line that touches the circle at only one point. So, you'll probably know that any line has like three states uh, with respect to some circle. So, it, it either intersect, intersected at two points. So, for example, this line intersects the circumcircle at two points. Or, it... Uh, doesn't touch the circle at all. So maybe, for example, we have some line here that doesn't share anything with the circle at all. And basically, the tangent line is the middle case between this and that. So it touches the circle, but at only one point. So we don't have two points. And at the same time, it touches the circle. So it shares some points with the circle. Okay, so... So basically, if we want just to depend on the definition, when we're asked to show that, for example, in this case, show that DA is a tangent of the circle, then we know already that A is a common point between the circle and the tangent, or the line DA. So for example, here we just need to show that there is no other point uh, that belongs to the circle and to the line uh, 2. But this is quite impractical because it is really difficult to show this. Maybe sometimes you will see some solutions uh, doing this or based on this definition. But we, we have other actually properties which makes things easier for us. So let's take a look at these properties. Okay, so as we said, here we have DA is the tangent of uh, the circumcircle at point A. So it turns out that we can actually convert this condition, the tangent condition, into some angles. And of course, we love angles because we are just doing angle tracing, right? So actually, the, the, this condition is the following. So the angle DAB, this angle right here, this angle right here actually uh, is the same as this angle, ACB. So you can see that they both like uh, are adjacent to the arc AB so they are both equal the measure of of these both are equal so basically the first property here is that the angle D A B this angle is the same as the angle A C B and of course any other angle that is adjacent to this uh, arc so for example if we have something like like this we know that this is the, the same measure as well. 
Okay, so this is basically the, the, for, the first property. So for example, now, if we were asked to show that dA is tangent to our uh, circumcircle at A, then we just need to show that this angle dAB is the same as the angle ACB. And sometimes this is simpler. Okay, so this is basically the first property. And actually it makes sense because just like we said uh, in our previous video, in cyclic quadrilaterals video, uh, we know that any angle that is inside the circle, of course, uh, for example, this angle we've just drawn has the same measure, right? So this, so wait, let's say that this point is E. So we know that AEB is the same as ACB. Now you can deal with the tangent just at like these points. So as you can see, DAB uh, is too uh, like uh, adjacent to this uh, arc AB. So it, it has the same measure. Okay, so this is the first property. Okay, the second one is actually pretty famous, and that is the line OA. So if we've introduced the, the center of the circle, here it is O. So basically, OA is actually perpendicular to the tangent. So OA is perpendicular to the tangent, which is AD. So our second condition is that OA is, tan uh, is perpendicular to AD. And this is a nice way uh, in which we can convert our tangent condition into some perpendicular lines. So for example, we might in some cases know that there is another line, let's say that it is here, and this is like perpendicular to it. So for example, instead of showing that dA is tangent, we just need to show that these both are parallel, for example. And of course, it depends on our problem, but here we just introduce the basic properties. Okay. So basically these two are the most famous properties and of course in the f in future videos we're going to introduce other properties like power of points uh, but uh, to discuss this we need to talk about, about power of points and other stuff as well. So basically now we, what we have learned in this video is that if you're asked to show that uh, this line is tangent to the circle, let's say dA is tangent to the circumcircle of a b c then you just need to show either d the angle d a b is the same as the angle a c b or you just need to show that o a is perpendicular to d a and basically this is everything i wanted to tell you in this video and maybe in the next videos we'll talk more about circles or maybe we'll start by solving some problems so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, like, share and subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next video.